in the box? What was in the box? Oh, what's in the box? Hey, how's it going? My name is Bob, and this is Bob's Basement Toy Vlog. Number episode, number episode? It's number 15. And as you can see, we've got three things today. Now, some of these things, a little bit all over the place. I'm sure there's a lot of Star Wars in here. But these things, these three items were in the way as I was trying to get to other things. Figured I'd process them through, get rid of them. Let's find out what's inside all of them. Now the purple one down here, little bit uh, easier, harder to figure out what's in it because I can see it, and uh, you know, kind of clear. I'm pretty sure I know what this is, but what's inside the, the Optimus Prime? I'll move this down here, let a little more light in. This is a Transformers. Dark of the Moon press kit box. There's no Transformers in it. I'm 100% sure of that. But I did keep the box because I like that it was Optimus, Optimus Prime's truck. Kind of neat. Got a little face on here. I think there is. There used to be a disc. There was like a thing that held the disc to it and everything. So that's kind of neat. Um, let's, let's see here. I got to keep this stuff that I can able to reach it. So let's do... Let's pull the stuff out of the Prime box first. We'll set it up here, and then we'll get to this one. But, I mean, I'll hold this one up so you can kind of get an indication. Quick tease. We can see some items there. All right. So why am I doing this? Like you, I'm sure you probably have a lot of time on your hands right now, unless you work uh, as a, an essential uh uh, person right now, a doctor, lawyer, I'm sorry, doc, lawyer, uh, a doctor, a nurse, a police officer, a fireman, a uh, grocery store attendant, um, one of those people right now that really has to be at work and is doing a lot of great uh, time sacrifices for us and uh, giving up all of their time and, and in risking their very lives. So unless you're one of those people, um, you're probably stuck at home, riding this out, trying to make the best of it. I decided that I would tackle my basement organize my toys, move things in different locations, and uh, get ready for what I call the Great Purge. I will be getting rid of a lot of things um, that I just had too long, um, I have no interest in anymore, throw some things out, condense some boxes down, and organize it. Put Star Wars with Star Wars, Star Trek with Star Trek, maybe Transformers with Transformers. Uh, we've got Masters of the Universe up here. Uh, I've got Star Wars dolls up here is the Padme collection. I got Nerf things here. So I'm working on trying to find out what everything is, what I want to keep, what I want to get rid of. Uh, let's do the Transformers box today. Now it's a, it's a neat box, obviously. And already, first thing out of the box, this is a mint on the card Harley Quinn action figure. Um, it doesn't say if it's like series two, but it's definitely from 1997. I know that the cartoon started in 1992 because I was a I was a senior in high school. So uh, Harley Quinn's action figure came out a little bit later, and it's also the Adventures of Batman when they moved to the other network. Uh, on the back, we've got Joker with the machine gun, and then we've got multiple Batmans that have different kind of weird things. But here's the reason why I'm doing this too. Ew. Like, look at that. I dragged my finger across that. So, say hello to Teresa and Donnie, who are watching. Um, ah, okay. So, uh, we've already shown Picard as a Romulan. Here is Data as a Romulan. That's one of the classic Playmate figures. I always thought these would be neat to put those two in a Star Wars display, like in the backdrop, just hidden off to the side. Um, okay. Ah, all right. Here is the deluxe snow trooper with the giant cannon. It is a EWHB 10, an E web cannon. Now, the neat thing about this cannon is it's actually seen in The Mandalorian now. It was seen in The Empire Strikes Back, but in The Mandalorian, you actually see him pick it up at one point. He's like shooting it and everything. Um, really cool gun, and this was one of the deluxe uh, uh, figures that they released with Power of the Force back in 1996 on this one. So there was a probe droid, there was a, a deluxe rocket firing pack 
Boba Fett. It was a crowd control uh, stormtrooper. And then there was Luke with a weird kind of desert thing that he never had. And there was another Han Solo thing too. Some weird stuff. But then, then they did do the guns inside the Millennium Falcon where they had Luke and Han. You could connect them. That was neat. Um, wow. Okay. So here's an original Kenner Tauntaun. Seen better days. Very yellow. But not the open belly. So this is the first Tauntaun. I got that one there. And his legs really aren't the greatest anymore because he's already falling down. Um, ah! Okay. Here is the re-release Tauntaun. I'm guessing this is Luke's or Han's. But I did free. I did. I did douse this in water and then leave it out in a snowstorm one night. And then you know your Tauntaun will freeze before it reaches the first marker. So neat toy. Legs have a spring action to them. Head moves. Multiple points of articulation. Nice. So there's the difference between the two. I know I have. I think we've seen the saddle already. It's around here somewhere, and I wouldn't be doubt it's not here in the box. And here is the open belly Tauntaun, who still has a saddle right there. The saddle's interesting because in a lot of ways it's almost the same mold that was on the dewback. So they just kind of recycled that. It was a good, smart move on their part. But this uh, open belly one is a little bit better. So it was funny that they made this that was open belly and then they made a regular one too. You'd think they would have just gone right to the open belly. And this kind of shows you that this would go down and the figure would sit inside. So there's must have been a winter day or something. Oh, okay. And besides this monstrosity of a bag, that's pretty much it. Very empty inside. Okay, so this is this was a mail away figure from Hasbro. It was a Clone Wars figure, and it came with a battle mat. Now I had shown you in some of the Clone Wars figures, they came with this like card uh, and and dice. So this is. This is Sergeant Brick, seen from the Clone Wars. I mean, this is a massive box. Sergeant Brick, seen from the Clone Wars. Here's the battle mat. You needed this. You had a mail in the proof of purchases, and then you got Sergeant Brick. Sergeant Brick does appear in the Clone Wars. Um, he's in a I, he's in a big episode that deals with fives and uh, a fantastic counter uh, character. He's a bounty hunter who's teaching them, uh, you know, the the rules of working together as a team. Um, neat figure. He is. Literally, I think I could probably, no, 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 I could probably pull the mat out here, but it's not your standard Star Wars card because of the way it is. Uh, the bubble is this way, holding him in there. But I have seen loose bricks here and there, so people have opened them up. But this is the battle mat card. I don't think there's anything else, but one of those odd Star Wars figures. All right, so I'm going to put this back here in the box. Ooh, wait, there's something else in there. What was that? Nope, just cardboard. All right, so we got two carded figures, three Tauntauns. Who would have thought, right? All right. So, again, I, I've said it, and you can see there's definitely the Guardians of the Galaxy over here. Um, this is a battleship box behind me, um, and there's an Age of Ultron box now hidden behind all this stuff. Um, these these boxes that Hasbro sends out from time to time are great collector pieces. Uh oh, I better adjust this. Sorry about that. I will fix that on YouTube. Put this down here. Okay. So uh, let's do the big what I call the monolith here. So this is big monolith. Um, this is where you got to really be careful here. These are just standard trash bags. Um, and you'll see why. But I just use regular everyday trash bags. Okay. Now this is... Now, when Hasbro did the Indiana Jones figures, uh, they really, I guess they just miscalculated or they didn't realize that the Crystal, the Crystal Skull film, the fourth Indiana Jones movie, wasn't going to be as big a hit. 
And what they did with the figures was they released Crystal Skull figures first. Then they released uh, a mixture of Raiders and Last Crusade figures. So it was, you got some Raiders figures and then you got Last Crusade figures. Temple of Doom was the final wave of figures. Temple of Doom really never hit the uh, never really hit the shelf. Um, you had to buy them online. You had to buy them through Amazon and a bunch of other places. You can find them at toy shows from time to time. Um, I saw Willie Scott actually last year and just missed her by like five minutes. I was really upset because the guy had it in his hand. And I said, uh, are you buying that? And he goes, I already bought it. So this, now the problem with the Raiders figures was there was another wave of Raiders of the Lost Ark action figures. And there was a bunch of people that were missing from the initial wave. So, yeah, you could get Indy, um, you get Indy on the horse, and uh, there was a couple other scattered figures here and there, but Tote, uh, Cepedo, the German mechanic, Indiana Jones with the, with the rocket, <coughs> excuse me, with the rocket launcher, those were not, uh, they were in the next wave, and the wave was canceled. So what Hasbro did was they released a lot of the figures in a Comic-Con exclusive box set. So this is the only way that you can get these figures. Cepedo, the mechanic, Indy with the, dressed as a German soldier. Tote is the big one because he's a melty face. Really, really cool. Uh, you find one of these loose, you want to grab it. <clears throat> that means somebody broke up a set. I'll never break up this set. Um, so this was, this was it. This was the only way you could get it, uh, these figures. They have a 30th anniversary logo on all of them, which is right here back of the box is really nice how you display something of this nature i have no idea um because you'd want to be you'd want it open like this so you can see all the figures but then you miss out on this great artwork so you technically kind of need two or you need like a little picture of the front somewhere on it uh the box is great but this is a problem with toy collectors because you get something like this how do you display it you want to open the figures so, yeah, it's very, very frustrating. So it's also, I mean, even even Tote down here, the Nazi spy, he has an extra hand that has the burn mark of the medallion in it, and then he has another hand that's attached that has the medallion. Um, you know, the German mechanic has a wrench, he has a hat, he has a pistol. You know, it's just, it's neat stuff. It's really great um, uh, details. Indy up here comes comes with a little torch he comes with the little idol from the beginning of the raiders it's a great set they they probably should have done this for each one of the movies and just re-released it as the last crusade set the temple of doom set even a crystal skull set because they probably could have thrown in the alien figure that that they had this crystal skull alien that you were going to be able to mail away for i don't know if anybody ever got one i've never seen one so this is an awesome box set i got this at comic con i only got one because this is one of those things where you're like I got to put this on a plane and take it home. So I was lucky enough to get it at FedEx. I, there's a FedEx station at Comic-Con. They had boxes for it and everything and just shipped it to me because you can't bring this on a plane. You can't put this in an overhead compartment and then get it crushed. And even then after time, you know, it, it's starting to look a little warped. Got a little battle damage right there. What are you going to do? But I have those figures and we've done a lot of Indiana Jones figures here which is really surprising um, that I don't have them all together. But I think it's just because I've moved so many times. I had some on display. Some got opened. I gave my nephews a bunch of them. I gave them like, all the Crystal Skull figures. So here we go with the Purple Tub. Purple Tub is a little bit more organized than most things here. Um, it is a collection of rare antiquities. So here we have... Here's my dad's Viewmaster. That is not his card, though, and I'll tell you why in a second. It's my dad's Viewmaster, or maybe my uncle's. And then this is my Viewmaster. And what I've got in here is Viewmaster slides from Captain America. Both of these are Captain America. So this is, this was, it says this is B and this is C, so there must have been an A, and then to do the little whole story. So these are always really cool. Everything is awesome because it looks like it's in 3D. But this is something that came from my, um, probably came from my uncle's place because he's a little bit, he's a little bit younger than my dad. Um, this is actually a Viewmaster case. So you could put the Viewmaster in here. You could put all your cards and slides in there. 
Um, so this probably went in here like so. And then over time, I probably just stuck the other one in there because they both fit. So there's a uh, made in the United States of America, but well, this would also say if there's a copyright date on here. Copyright 19. No, it says Canada 1942, United States Patent Office. So, but this definitely got to be a re-release. That can't be from 42. It's, it's too much plastic. Where mine is from, no clue. Doesn't say. Tells you a different time when toys don't have dates on them. Just the copyright information. So, that stinks like, mu that's musty. All right, here's the original uh, Play-Doh X-Wing. So you would make an R2, stick him back here, make a Luke, stick him up front. Uh, they also had Vader and 3PO, I think. No, Vader, Leia, yeah. This is a uh, digital diamond. This is a Hasbro or Parker Brothers. This is a Tomy 1978 uh, game. You put batteries in it and it lights up. Very rudimentary. Uh, and then you would hit this and you'd watch where the ball would go. And you did a lot more. It wasn't as electronic as you think it would be. Um, so this is a Kenner. 12-inch uh, uh, C-3PO from their 12-inch line. Uh, really good shape, except for the fact that his foot is broken. So I usually hide that or stick it behind something. Here is, I think he had a belt. He may have had a belt, but here is the original 12-inch Obi-Wan Kenobi. His lightsaber is right here, and I find it funny that it's yellow, not blue. And this isn't Luke's, because I never had Luke. So this is his lightsaber. I do have a Jawa somewhere. I have not seen him yet. He's It's neat because he's about half the size and I always made him king of the Jawas. All right. Uh, so this is an original Playmates Star Trek communicator. You, It's it's huge. It's like up here and you press it and it would, it would beep. Collector's edition, 143,487. Yeah, that's a lot. $9.99 at Spencer's. Here's a video cassette of Tron. And it's been opened. $1.99 or 99 cents at Suncoast. It was the only way you could get it and went on moratorium after a while. I couldn't even get it then. All right, so here's another. We had talked about it a few times about... Uh, uh, Kenner loved to use foam. Um, foam and Dagobah. Uh, there was quicksand at one point in something else. Uh, that was Dagobah. I thought there was quicksand in something else, like a sand crawler pit. Um, the foam itself. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Over time, rots and just falls apart. So this is the Chewbacca bandolier. So you would put your Star Wars figures in this and could carry them around with you. Um, so the plastic part of it itself is fine, but I could probably remove these with little hassle. Um, the, the neat thing was it wasn't quite adjustable. It just went around you like that. Um, I'm scared of the foam, so I'm really not going to. Oh yeah. Look at that. Ugh. Ugh. It's growing new life. The neat thing about this, about this carrying case was it came with these little blue coffins. Not only do they look like neat little things that you could use to push the, like, uh, the transport stuff around, like you could have the, the tech guys. It has a Return of the Jedi sticker, but it basically was to hold all your weapons so you didn't lose your weapons. So these are neat. I like, I'm thrilled that I still have these. But the bandolier has definitely seen better days because of anything. Not a single gun. So guns must have gone back into the guys. But that is... That is his old school Kenner. Wow, that is old. Um, so it sounds like he may be in here. This is a swoop bike from Shadows of the Empire, and we'll get to another Shadows thing right here. I know I have a couple of these, and I, I loved opening them up. I love them in the game. Um, nope, we got nothing. Just the cardboard and the box. So I have the toy somewhere. But I have the box of the toy here. Ditto with the Biker Scout box. 
And this thing actually explodes. I've never thought that it stayed together very well. Um, but this was one of the first uh, figures with a vehicle that came out in the 95 line. Not many. Uh, Hasbro really didn't do that. Um, or Kenner didn't do that back in the day. And then later they started doing it because they realized they kind of had to. They did it with G.I. Joe, which was funny because you got G.I. Joe, you got a vehicle and a guy. But, um, you know, I guess when it, Kenner just never quite caught on to that. So here's the Princess Leia and Hoth gear. This is from uh, 95. 27 95 That's how much she was. I don't, think I, I don't think I paid that for it. I think I picked it up on sale. But a solid figure. Well, solid doll. And she actually, uh, there's actually a, a, like a rocket or something that shoots out of the blaster. That's neat. And she's holding a Stormtrooper blaster too, so. so. A bunch of little things here. Here is, I talked about this guy. This is the Frito-Lay Obi-Wan Kenobi. And then this was a mail away. So he ate, like, this thing was like three bags of, of like lunch size Frito chips and uh, Frito-Lay chips. And then they send you an Obi-Wan, a ghost Obi-Wan. I'm not sure who this is. And I'm in a weird underpass of not knowing who it is. Now, I did stick this little note in there to myself. All right, I just answered my own question. I stuck in this little note to myself about get a Star Wars pop-up cantina diorama in the mail. So that was in there, and there's a whole little sheet right here. But if I look at the skews, I think it's another Obi-Wan because the skews are the same. So... I must have eaten a lot of chips, or my roommates in college ate them for me and gave me the bags. Um, an original Kenner General Mills Fun Group sand speeder. It's like a giant matchbox. The bubble is gone. It's in decent shape, though. All the wheels are there. Now, I've got some parts here. So there must be a base somewhere. So this is the radar dish from Hoth, and then there was a bottom piece. This is one of the mini rigs. These are the little lower price point toys. And then it sat in a base with treads, and then you press a button, and then this would all go, and it would explode. So you could have it explode. So I probably kept that, because I could, figured I could probably mount that on something and make it some sort of toy out of it. And then I got three. Oh, here is... Jean-Luc Picard's Romulan blaster. So we'll put that. He's right over there. Almost Another thing, almost complete. I do have a little box of parts and pieces over here to the side. So here is a... This is a weird box. Here is a uh, Emperor's Royal Guard pencil top. Here is... These are shampoo heads, but I don't have the shampoo bottles here, of Luke and Chewbacca. Odd things to hold on to. And here is... I can't even... I don't even know who made it. But these are little PVC... There's a little PVC figure of E.T. holding the uh, Texas Instrument Speak and Spell. I think I have one where he's holding a beer, too, but yet to come across it. And last small item, Star Destroyer on a rubber hook. So you can have him out and about somewhere. Star Wars Classics $3.99 from Spencer's. Made by Applause. A lot of Applause stuff. And then finally, and you, I've been teasing it because you can see it in the box. This is the first re-release uh, by Hasbro of Slave One. This is Boba Fett's ship. Lots of that black foam from the uh, bandolier is on it. Um, this was the first release, and they released it as a Shadows of the Empire uh, vehicle. Now, Shadows of the Empire was George Lucas's attempt to do everything but a movie. So he had an author uh, write a novel that took place between Empire and Jedi. What happened to Han, where Boba Fett went with him first before he went to Jabba's, what Luke did... Uh, what Lando did, he created a whole new character called Dash Rendar, who was kind of hired to track down uh, Boba Fett and do a couple other odds and ends things that would fill in the gaps to the story. He helps the Bobbins get the, get the data to the new Death Star, all that kind of stuff. Um, but they made a full line of figures. They released a comic book. And most importantly, 
they released a video game for the Nintendo 64, which it was out like a month or two after the N64 had debuted. It's a fantastic game. It takes hours to play. It's a really good game. I really wish they'd update the graphics or release it to the PlayStation 4 or something. Um, the graphics are a bit rough now to try to play it, but it's still fun. But everybody's very cubey. They're cubed looking. Um, but this was my first Slave 1. Now, we did do Slave 1 a couple of other episodes ago. It's perfectly smelling like mildew in this box. And it's still in there. Um, the, the one we looked at earlier uh, was from Attack of the Clones. It's a lot more bells and whistles. Rockets, things move. Um, this is very much just a repaint and a remold of the original Hasbro toy um, with Shadows of the Empire just kind of highlighted a little bit more. This was a great selling point for Shadows of the Empire was the fact that you were going to get Boba Fett's uh, Slave 1 again. So I never had the original toy as a kid. Uh, so to get that for me as a collector, that was a big deal. I was really happy to, to have that. Um, probably some of my... Uh, my, my college like refund checks probably went to Star Wars toys. I, I don't doubt it. Uh, so, um, quick wrap up. I'd say highlights are um, trying to figure out what I'm going to ugh, trying to figure out what I am going to do with this. Um, I, I'm going to obviously keep the bandolier, but I've definitely got to get rid of the foam. Um, finding 3PO and Obi-Wan are great. Um, I can put them with this Leia now, but I know I have a Boba Fett out there. Um, we found Chewbacca earlier, very first episode, and I know I have a, uh, <clears throat> I know I have a Jawa somewhere. Um, finding Harley Quinn was great, and uh, seeing Indiana Jones, uh, once again, that great box set that I got at Comic-Con all those moons ago. Uh, I think that might have been 08. No, 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 no. It was, I think it was 09 or 10. It was weird because the movie had to come out. It was 11. Copyright 2011. So may have been the last year I went to Comic-Con or the second second to last year I went to Comic-Con. Um, it just became too much of a hassle uh, trying to book a hotel room. So overall, nice haul. We did a lot of things. Uh, you got to see some stuff. I actually bumped the camera for the first time. So uh, I'll be back again tomorrow. I've really got to spend some time down here organizing um, and getting some of these things squared away. Um, this is Bob's Basement Toy Blog. We are here, again, Monday through Friday at noon every day having a, a look at crazy toys that I've kept in my basement. And then uh, we post some close-ups on Instagram. Uh, they're up there now. It's Instagram at Total Toy Recon. And you, you can't miss us. Um, so have a good day. Stay safe. Uh, enjoy your time with your loved ones if you can. Definitely play with your toys. There is no better time. Have a good night. Good day. Whichever it is.